questions in troubleshooting. We talked about this with Windows. We have talked about this with Mac. And for my folks that are Chromebook users, now we're gonna talk about it for you. So computer settings, you have computer settings. And of course, when you hook up your computer, your computer is running the show. Uh, but the question that comes up is, hey, I would love to, instead of mirroring what's happening on my computer up to the panel, I want to go into extended mode because sometimes I wanna have something different happening up here than what's happening on my computer. So uh, if you have something that uh, maybe you're you know, an educator and you have a worksheet or a movie or something else that you want going on on the panel where you can finish up emails or try and get ahead on grading or anything else, and you want to do that from your computer and not have it show up here, uh, that is what we are talking about today. So I'm going to do this from a Chromebook. Like I mentioned, I do have a Chromebook plugged into my front Type-C port. Uh, and as I tap that, I do get my Preview, of course, I can tap my preview and in I go. So now we are working in my Chromebook, which is really handy. Uh, of course, you get full touch capability. Essentially, it turns any computer into a giant tablet, which is sensational. So it really does give you just a ton of functionality and flexibility for what you may want to do and how you want to interact with the panel and the technology in your curriculum. But to do this, you need to go into your computer settings, just like in Windows, just like in Mac, it's going to be a computer setting for your device. So uh, for a Chromebook, it's gonna be over on the side there. Of course, I see settings. Generally, uh, it's gonna be like a cog wheel or it's gonna be some sort of gear. Um, I always think Spacely Sprockets, if you grew up in the days of the Jetsons, you're like, yes, I know exactly what that is. So we're gonna pop into settings. And we're going to go into device. That's where we're going to find that here. Displays, because we want to stop mirroring our displays, because we have our computer display and our new line display. And we're going to go into extended mode. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pop into displays. You can see right now, uh, by default, it goes into mirror display. Uh, you can choose your size, and you do have some other options in here. But I'm going to go ahead and let me hold my Chromebook up here. So you can see that yes, I am in fact mirrored right now. I'm going to unclick this and very instant, which is sensational, uh, very, very quick. So now I have everything and anything happening on my device um, as kind of my primary here. And I can choose what I wanna shuffle over to the panel. So for example, I'm going to close my settings. I always have to find my mouse when I do this. There we go. Uh, I do have a Chrome window. And I'm gonna shuffle my Chrome window over to my panel. So to do that, I am just going to click on it and then slowly move it to the right. And then it is going to pop up here, uh, which is really nice. So extended display works really awesome. Of course, if I want to, uh, let me make that just a little bit bigger. And there we go. Uh, so I can still do whatever I want here very separate, uh, very, very nice. So that way you can divide and conquer and hopefully keep your day rolling, make it easier for you when you're ready to go back and mirror your displays. Uh, same thing, all I'm gonna do is go back into settings. So uh, I can scroll down, go into my settings. Again, it's in device. I'm going to go into displays. And all I have to do is check mirror display again and it will go ahead and duplicate everything that is going on. And there we go. Uh, so easy to turn on, easy to turn off, and hopefully makes your day just a little bit easier. Keep the questions coming. If you have any need for help or assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out. Hope you're having a great day and we will talk again soon. Take care.